So the secure device pairing in 1210 is going to look something like this. So the first time you run Novica, you'll see this, and I'm going to walk you through both sides of it. So um, in this scenario, my desktop um, is what I'm doing the screencast on, and so I'm going to pretend that my desktop is the new device um, I'm adding, and I also have my little netbook here, which you can't see, and it's acting as the device that's already, um, that you're already using Novacut on. So you click I'm already using Novacut, and then on the other device, you get a notification, and a little indicator pops up. You go to and click accept. So this is, a, I'm all doing on the netbook, you can't see it. So I just clicked accept, and then um, my netbook now has a code, and I type the code, and then click sync, and then it'll do its magic. Um, and then to see it from the other side, So on, for, on existing devices, they basically sit in the background listening for peering offers from new devices. So it's not anything, um, you don't even have to have the application open. So, and then on my netbook now, I'm running the other end of it. So this could be, you know, you just, you just booted your machine or, and you're just doing whatever and you don't have to do anything special to make this work on the, the existing device. And on the netbook, I'm clicking, I'm already using Novica, blah, blah, blah. And then this is the notification I was talking about. So then you click accept. And there you have it. So um, there will definitely be some changes to the graphic design. Um, James Raymond is working on that. And this is just crude placeholder stuff I did. Um, but in terms of kind of the ease of use, it's going to be like this. Um, mm -hmm. The, the peering protocol is already you know basically designed and that's all it takes so thanks for watching